Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, what we are going to go ahead and do is show you how to make the stickers inside of Cricut Design Space and how to get the white border around your sticker for a prettier cut, more representable sticker, you know? So first things first, we're gonna go ahead into shapes and grab our square. Click on that. And then you're gonna want to make sure that the square is bigger than your object that you are trying to create as a sticker. Okay, today I'm going to use this butterfly as an example. I'm gonna go ahead and put it behind the box for now. After that, you either wanna click on move forward or send to back. There we go, perfect. And we use the box in the back to reference the outlining so it doesn't blend in with the grid. We wanna go ahead and click on offset and make sure that the corner is on round and we're going to go ahead and change it to 0 0.125 going to go ahead and apply okay and you'll see that the color is automatically black you can leave it like that if that's what you prefer but what um today here we're going to go ahead and do is click on the white there you go so you're gonna go ahead and click on your layer that has the offset outline that we had created like I said we're gonna go ahead and click on white and then there you go you then you want to go ahead and flatten it so the background of it goes nowhere super simple super easy and from there you can go ahead and duplicate your uh, image as many times as you need to make any adjustments any arrangements um, in order for you to create multiple stickers awesome now you can duplicate your image as many times as you like or use it on different type of images or designs this would be a print then cut project here I use the Avery sticker paper and they work really, really great. I also typically use a non like heat type of laminate to put over the stickers in order for the stickers to have that shiny effect, which I will be making a video on how to do that here soon as well. That's it for this video. That's how you make your stickers look neater for when you are going to go ahead and print and cut them. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like, give it a comment. I hope y'all had a good day, and I hope to see y'all soon again. Thank you.